Hey, folks. Sorry, I had to stop there for a second. Okay. Harvest. We're opening it. Yeah. We have the gear symbol here. Okay. There's an. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, I'm gonna run to the leash. Leashing wasn't also wasn't a thing in vanilla. Wow. It took a while for them to add it in. That is a weird icon for the map. I guess that's meant to be the planet. A drink. Oh, with every level you gain, you conjure two more. Oh, nice. So there's some scaling to it. Eh, didn't think there would be. that uh, the harvest isn't phased. Again, that's a very much a mo modern WoW thing. Uh, the differences between modern WoW and this are something I'm really going to have to get used to. It's going to be a bit of a struggle. can head back to Millie. Once we can, uh, once we make the storm wind, we can see, hopefully, see the fullest uh, um, of skills available to us in the future. Oh, also, the talent tree is a lot different to what there is in the base game. If you want a rough approximation of it, though shorter, uh, Dead Island actually is a very similar one. Or Torchlight as well, actually. Dead, uh, Dead Island was this first one to come to mind. I've made that example previously. Do you have my harvest, Kuganok? Oh, thank you, Kuganok. You saved my harvest, and I hope you showed a few of those defiance that they can't cause trouble around here. We're really short on guards these days. We're looking to have heroes like you to protect us. Now that my crop is safe, take this great manifest to Brother Niles. He manages to store food and drink in Orchard, and I'm sure he'll be delighted to hear that he's fresh grapes. You'll find Brother Niles in the Abbey, uh, in the Beltar, where he likes to taste his wine. See you later. 
Ah, uh, the, the Abbey's Wino. Fantastic. Grape Manifest. Brother Niles, my grapes are saved. Kurganok, the bearer of this manifest, braved uh, my tug infested vineyard and gathered the grapes that I could not. Though if I still roam across the river, nearly my entire crop has been salvaged. You may add a full load of grape bottles bo uh, to your stores. May the light protect us. Willie Osworth. So that's such an ominous and creepy, like, carving behind them. I think it's meant to be like the Lion of Stormwind or something, but it comes off as like a demon. Maybe it is meant to be a demon. Hmm. Secretly, these are all, twi you know, you know, cigarist cultists. Also, in classic WoW, the lore is that the Eridar were the the main driving force behind Sargeras' corruption. In post burn Crusade War, he was the one who corrupted them. They came up with Draenei, the modern Draenei, and they were like, oh, these are really cool. Uh, oh, shit, they're a retcon. Fuck it. Do it anyway. Hello. You look to be in fine spirits. Come, have a seat and have a drink. Let's see here. Oh my! Well, his grapes have been saved. They showed me to uh, tell me that brigands overran our vineyards. I nearly despaired, but my faith in the light did not waver. Uh, uh, through your bravery, we now have um, wine for more um, grapes for more wine. May the light bless you, uh, co uh, bless you, Kurganok, and keep you safe. I'll take the latch belt because I already have a five armor cloak. See you around. There's also no appearances or transmogs in this. But by, by the by. Um, they c came as a later on thing. Also, respecking is quite expensive, and there's not even a tu du uh, dual spec s system that comes in rather Lich King. Well met. Gorgonok, you are made with pro uh, proven interest in security of Norchar. We are now tasked with the protection of the surrounding of, of the surrounding Elwyn Forest. If you accept this duty, then prepare papers that must be delivered to Marshal Duggan in Nor in Gorchar. Gochar lies along the southern road past the border gates. Mm, let me just pop open Discord. Um. C U R G A N N O C H O C H There, just sent uh, the guilty message by what ca the name of my character and whatnot. He's not on at the moment. It's quarter to eight in the morning. But, you know, it's there for when he gets when he gets it. There's a lot less guards here than on live, which, you know, makes sense. Because, you know, they're meant to you know like here it's you know, so much of the stolen forces are pulled away and whatnot. While on live there's like oh, I can two whole battalions here. It's like, f you know, four proper Stormwind guards. Hey there. In here, while in modern WoW, there's like 28. Um, every venture should rest when exhaustion sets in. No finer place to get, uh, to rest and to get rest and relaxation than at the Lion's Pride Inn. My best friend, Innkeeper Farley, runs the Lion's Pride. But tell him I sent you, he may give you s the special discount rates on food and drink. To find the Lion's Pride Inn, travel south along the roads from here. You can't miss it. Um, the undead que quest is actually a bit different. The guy promises you a rather meaty gold reward for doing it. And the innkeeper tells you to fuck off. So if you go back to him, he attacks you. You actually even get temporarily flagged for PvP. And you get to you know beat him down. He, he doesn't have the, that kind of money. 
Like it's a silver award in silver. I was just saying gold. It's in money. But he he gives you a chunk of cash and maybe something else. I can't remember. See you later. Paul Khan is Sin Strider. I wonder. Is the lady over here still a, a pet vendor? Or was she a later on kind of deal? No, she's here. Open for the one issue with pets and whatnot in classic and mounts in classic WoW is that they aren't abilities as they are in modern WoW. In um, In modern WoW, they take up no inventory space. They're an ability like, you know, Fireball is. But in classic WoW, they're an item like anything else. So if you have, you know, a Paladin's... Well, um, actually, those are spells, the Paladin... I wonder if the Paladin's Charger was treated that like a normal mount or a spell. I presume a normal mount. But you know, like say if you do like have a Stormwind horse. That takes up a slot in your inventory. If you have a pet, it takes up a slot in your inventory. I still have um the baby blizzard bear I in my bank from um Blizzcon, I think. Uh, from uh one of the Blizzcons. I think is I think it's still there. But yeah, I have I had that for ages. Um, because I got it before the system to store the mouse where it was introduced. Well, you know, they stored you know, where they stored its abilities. So, anyway. Ah, it's hard enough to keep order around here without all these new troubles popping up. We have good news, Kurganok. You've worded. One sec. Report. Kobolds. The activity of kobolds has increased in the vicinity of North Char Valley. The camp north of the Abbey within the Echo Ridge Mine in alarming numbers. Martial paladins, warriors, and other local folk to aid me in ridding us of the vermin. This progress is well, and I will update as needed. Uh, more alarming than the kobolds, a human gang of thieves has emerged in the valley, who wear red bandanas and call themselves a brotherhood. This level of organization may lead to trouble, here out here and in all Valen Forest. Vented identified uh, one of their leaders, one Garrick Padfoot, and open to bring him to justice soon. Wolves. There have been an increase uh, in reported animal attacks in Northshire. Egan believes the wolves in the valley were scared here from Duskwood. Although the wolves rarely hunt human prey, the sheer number of them has been causing some incidents, incidents with farmers and many livestock have gone missing. The commendation. The bearer of, this of these documents is to be awarded deputy status with Stormwind Army. Having served Norchar with eagerness and distinction, I'm confident that you'll find this person useful in Owen Forest. Marshal Douglas McBride, Stormwind Army, Norchar. Life be with you. You've gotten. I think there might be music already playing. It's not. It's only ten to eight, but I hear, I've been hearing some rattle in the background, and I was just dismissing it as um, wind. But they've been obsessed with playing concerts at all hours, like ten a.m. Con you can hear a concert from over in town. Um, I might have. To, I'm just going to stop for a second and check. Hey, folks, and I'm back. It seems fine. It seems just to be the wind. Yeah, I'm just denoticing all the pallies here, and it's just like, you're in for such a disappoint uh, disappointment. Uh. Uh. 
Anyway. Uh, but yeah, it, it seems fine for at for a little bit. Um, so. You have word for McBride. Norchar is a garden compared to Alwyn Forest. But I wonder what Marshall McBride has to report. Uh, here, let me have these, uh, let me have his papers. Well, it says that you've been awarded acting deputy status with the Stormwind Marshals. Congratulations. And good luck. Keeping everyone safe is no picnic. But with most of the army being busy doing who knows what for who knows which noble. It's hard to keep track of politics in these dark days. The mine in Northshire isn't the only one with problems. I have reports that Fargo Deep and Elwyn also has become a haven for kobolds. Explore the mine and confirm these reports, then return to me. The mine is almost due south of Goldshire between the... No the Stonefield and McClure homesteads. Good day to you. The kobolds in these parts sometimes carry gold dust on them. You can really use the stuff. Bring me a load of it, and I'll give you the best price in town. Best price in town. You can find kobolds in Fargo Deep Mine to the south, and around Jasper Mine in the northeast. Safe travel. How are you? Hello, good sir. Do you have a moment? My brother and I run an apothecary in Stormwind, and I'm here to gather large candles for their wax. Uh, can you help me? You can get large candles from kobolds, and I hear kobolds that, uh, and I hear rumors that kobolds are infesting the Elwyn mines, the Fargo um, Deep Mine to the south, Jasper Road Mine to the east. I suggest looking for candles in one of those places. Have a good one. Ah, the reason he's green is he's fight for PvP. Looking for something specific? See you later. I supply only the finest goods. A rest and relaxation for the tired and cold. That's our motto. Please take a seat by the fire and rest your weary bones. We'd like to try a sampling of some of our fine food. I'll grab the water on principle. But I do believe... Yep, I can buy ice cold milk now. Uh, so I don't really need it. Though I suppose I can barely afford it. Ice cold milk is shockingly expensive. Oy. <laughs> you need something? Oh, this guy can teach everything. Or yeah, everything. Christ, rank 7 Scorch, rank 10 Fireball. I didn't realize they went so ha balls deep on ranks. But physician. Oh, I can learn first aid offer. Uh, that's pretty expensive. Ice Crown and the Frozen Throne. Go Jaden Castner Zul's icy cask back into the world of Azeroth. The hardened crystal streaked across the night sky and smashed into the desolate Arctic continent of Norrend, burying itself deep within the ice crowned glacier. The frozen crystal, warped and scarred by its violent descent, came to resemble a throne, and their Zul's vengeful spirit soon stirred within it. From the confines of the frozen throne, Nerzul began to reach his, uh, out his vast consciousness 
and touched the minds of Norrin's native inhabitants with little effort. He enslaved the minds of many indigenous creatures, including ice trolls and fierce wendigo, and he drew their evil brethren into his growing shadow. His psychic powers proved to be almost limitless, and he used them to create a small army that would house within Ice Crown's twisting labyrinths. The Lich King mastered his growing abilities under the Dread Ord's persistent vigil, he discovered a remote human settlement on the verge of the vast dragon bite. On a whim, Nerzul decided to test his powers on the unsuspecting humans. Nerzul cast a plague of undead, which had originated from deep within the frozen throne, out into the Arctic wasteland. Controlling the plague with his will alone, he drove it straight into the human village. Within three days, everyone in the village in settlement was dead, but shortly thereafter, the dead villagers began to rise as zombified corpses. Nerzul could feel their individual spirits and thoughts as if they were his own. The raging cacophony in his mind caused Nerzul to grow even more powerful, as if their spirits provided him with much needed nourishment. He found a child's play to control the zombies and actions and to steer them wherever he wished, uh, to whatever end he wished. Over the following months, Nerzul continued to experiment with his plague of undeath by subjugating every human inhabitant of Nortrend. Uh, with his army of undead growing daily, he knew that it, the time for his true test was nearing. We hear a different version of this, where he... Oh, the version I heard, where he well, didn't quite... Um, uh, he used mind control so much, he was killing all the things, and like just his proximity caused things to die and resurrect. Um, or, like, he just, you know, the plague of undead just leaking out from around him kind of thing. Um, there was also the Nerubians being um, immune to him, you know, the Kryptians and, and co. Them being immune to it. Um, they had to be slaughtered first before they could res be resurrected. Um, I'm just getting puzzled. But yeah, anyway, the version I heard, he didn't really rely on mind control so much. It was much more heavily on the plague of undead. And there was no mention of a human settlement in Dragonbite. He was just seeking to plague everything and anything that lived in Norrent. And the Nerubians went to war against them. They were immune to its plague, um, like they wouldn't die to it, and in turn, they had to be sorted in some other way before they could be resurrected. <sighs> and here's the warlocks, and he's something. I have no idea about Remen Markov. It seems they have all the quests. Alright. The, um... There's no calendar in game uh, in the game. Hmm. I want to say that the Dark Moon Fair is in Classic. It should... If it is, it will turn up here some months. Um... But, um, like, it cycles between, like, Alwyn Forest and uh, Mulgore. 
It, um... It, it isn't like a portal to an island that comes in Kata. Do you think sh I can get a quest over here? Yes. What can I do for you? Safe travel. How are you? Oh, I'm cursed. My heart belongs to Tommy Joe Stonefield, but our families are bitter enemies, uh, so I can't see him. Even to gaze upon, uh, can't see him, even though my eyes ache to gaze upon that handsome face. Please take this letter uh, and give it to Tommy Joe. You usually get the river to the west of the Stonefield farm, which is due west of here. Have a good one. Tommy Joe, with each passing hour, my heart. Withers from your absence. Oh, if only our folk could see beyond the silly crimes they've done to each other, and know that the only true crime is hate. Hate consumes, and I fear, in these dimming times, that hate will take more than just our families. If they realize this, then we could at long last be together. It is for that I dare hope, and for one day I live. Your love, Maybell. And as we know in Wad, they do eventually get together. See. Ends up with a double barrel surname. But Maybell McClure. Uh, wait, no. Maybell Stonefield. Maybell McClure Stonefield? Whatever. Good day to you. Look, I'm really tired. We really probably shouldn't be recording. It's just I didn't get much done during the night, so I was I'm trying to make up for it. Lost my necklace, and I think that's got her snipe, but Billy McClure took it. He's usually scuttling around the, uh, uh, scuttling like a rat around the McClure vineyards east of here. Get my necklace back from him, and you'll warm o an old widow's heart. See you around. Poof. <sighs> Running over this way. <sighs> you know, thinking about it, I probably should, you know, head to Stormwind and get my professions. Same time, I feel like I should wait till I'm sent to Stormwind. Do I sh d um, professions are different here. Uh, like say with gathering, if you don't have high enough gathering profession uh, level for an area, you can't gather there. It's not like WoW well, where it's all opened up and whatnot.
Yeah, folks. Ah, oh, I'm getting really tired. I'm probably going to call this quits soon. I'll just do a few more quests. Hello. Let's Have see. Any bugs? Which that could just be hidden. Uh. Okay, what was the name? Just adding my guildie's name here. There we go. What can I do for you? Um Sorry, well Okay, yeah. I'm really tired. I just want to play a little more. I didn't get much done last night, so I just, you know, I'm I'm wrecked. But I just I'll play a little bit more before I call it quits. Um. I've just completely forgotten what I was saying. But yeah, um, just going to play a little bit more for a call quits, and I'll pick this up again later. You have what? Mabel is the light of my dull life. Hurry, let me see your letter. Ah, I can't stand us being apart. I have to see her. Please, Kurganok. Talk to my gra uh, gra grandma. If anyone can find a way to bring me and Mabel together, she can. She's inside her house e east of here. See you later. I think even that phrasing is different to normal. Your Stormwind reputation. I think normally it's just Stormwind rep is, you know, Stormwind reputation is increased by so much. Need help? Be careful. Greetings. While our families are feuding, uh, while our families are feuding, Tommy, Joe, and Mabel don't have much of a, f a future. But maybe we can get them together for just a little while. For just a little while. Hmm. What can we do? I bet William Pestle has a potion to unite our two young lovers. Here, take this note to William. He's staying at the Iron's Pride Inn in Goldshark. Right. Heart. I'm thinking I'll just heart and get the, you know, do with this guy's quest here and then I'll call it. May as well log off in the inn. Ah, aha. Good day, good day, Mr. Ma uh, Master Mage. Come, sit down and have a drink. You have an ent enterprising look in your eye, and I think you'll f find speaking to me worth your time. You've a note from Grandma Stonefield, eh? Have, I haven't seen Mildred in years. I wonder what she has to say. Um, so I've been quoting him a bit as of late, only a little. Um, really digging his lines. But the Headless Horseman isn't in the game to Burning Crusade, sadly. So. Oh, yes. 
Hello, William. It's been years since we've spoken, but I trust you and your brother. Are, uh, but I trust you and your brother are well. And that your Potterkerry business and that your Potterkerry tribes. I must ask a favor of you, William. In short, my grandson Tommy Joe has lost his heart to young Mabel McCor, and although they adore each other, our families, our well, families have been feuding for years. I fear the war between the Stonefields and McCors will kill Tommy and Joe and Mabel's blossoming romance. And in times like these, when dark news and rumours of war loom over us, youth and love must be nurtured. So, the favour I ask, that you use your skills and concoct a potion or elixir. They aid these young love lovers in, the, in their quest for each other. Thank you, William. And please, when you've some time away from work, come visit. A few chuckles over the past. Mildred. <laughs> Even though from Grama Stonefield, uh, my heart goes out to those poor two, uh, those poor, uh, poor uh, two poor souls, Mabel and Tommy Joe. I remember being in, in I remember being in lo uh, being young and in love once. There must be something I can do to help them. Let me think. I I can't make an invisibility cure for Mabel, so she can slip away from the McCor Vineyards go to Tommy Joe, but to make the good cure, I need some crystal kelp. Although the kelp usually grows in the ocean, many marlocks collect it. See if the marlocks in a crystal lake have, have any. Crystal lake is just east of Gochar. Isn't crystal lake where J Jason Voorhees is? Safe travel. So, anyway, I'm gonna call it quits here. I do hope you've enjoyed my set, even though I haven't just randomly fallen asleep. But he nodded there while I was trying to record that uh, a moment ago. But whatever. I do hope you've enjoyed this set, and I do hope you jump again soon. I'm gonna go because I am utterly knackered. I am utterly knackered. But anyway, till next time. I hope you've enjoyed. We love and peace. <laughs>